So as well as Nutanix files, how about um, NetApp? Is there a relationship? Is that about? Is it a similar sort of relationship that you've got? A similar value that you add to? Um, NetApp as you do to Nutanix files? And we have a lot of customers that actually um, have their data center as a NetApp, for instance. And yep. we have a, uh, a customer as well, a big, uh, one of the global ERP companies. Um, they have a lot of offices in Europe and they utilize our solution for real-time replication for continuous data protection, where they have over 50 um, Windows branch offices um, running Windows file servers, and they have a data center, which is NetApp. So they wanted they want to utilize our solution to replicate the data in real time for uh, continuous data protection from the branch offices to the NetApp data center and to be able to replicate back from the NetApp to the Windows file service if the changes are made on the data center. So that would be quite a common scenario. You, know, you look at people's infrastructure, that's not, um, that's not unique to that uh, ERP vendor, is it? There's, there's lots of other organizations that will have that. We'll have NetApp in their data center. Uh, and, and Windows file servers out of branches, so a huge value that you can add there. That's exactly it, because most of the vendors, they do have their own solution that would be able to replicate the data between their own platforms, so between Windows to Windows, NetApp to NetApp, yeah. EMC to EMC, and that's where peer software adds value, where we can actually replicate between, between different platforms, so we are not vendor um, dependent. Okay, and you said something there that's quite interesting, so you said it's different vendors, so, if one of those, that organisation that we just described, then they acquire another company and then they've got maybe a, a big um, EMC storage block and it's got file data on there, can you then install peer software onto that environment and then replicate between EMC and NetApp? For example, yes, we can, and we actually see that a lot more now because most of the customers they don't want to lock themselves into specific specific vendor contract for too long, and and as you said, doing acquisitions and takeovers yeah. now, um, a lot of companies end up having um, multiple platforms, multiple data centers. Could be EMC, could be could be NetApp somewhere, and they want to have a solution that would be able to cross that um, bridge that data divide and replicate um, active active between um, okay. different platforms. So I'm just thinking now, thinking ahead and actually how this would fit in. Is there also a play where that you guys can help with um, with data migration? Yes. From one platform to another, from an old an old SAN maybe into into a new new environment, new platform? Yeah, it's, it is one of the use cases that, that peer software um, covers as well, and we do see that a lot. For instance, we had we recently had a big uh, insurance company in the US where they wanted to replicate data, um, migrate data from yeah. their legacy file server onto Nutanix, um, Nutanix files. So we actually uh, migrated all that data from legacy file servers on Nuta onto Nutanix files. And then afterwards, we initiated active-active um, between Nutanix files clusters. Wow, OK. So that's, that's powerful. That really helps people with that uh, whole transition of data from one place to another. Exactly, yeah.